Hi there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to talk about bending text in GIMP. So in order to get started on this, the first thing I want to do is just create a new canvas here. And I'm going to write some text here. This is some text I want to bend. And then I'm going to use the path tool within GIMP in order to design a path along which I want this text to follow. So if you select your path tool, which looks like this, you can start drawing any kind of design you want here. I'm going to just draw a kind of squiggly line here that looks something like this. And yeah, I'll just draw that to start. So now we have a path drawn and we can switch back to our text tool here. And I can click this and I can right click on it and say text along path. So if I do that, what actually happens is it draws another path for these letters along the original path. So if you were to look over here in your paths pane on the right hand side, you can toggle the different paths that are available. So this is the text. You can toggle that on and off. And this is the line that we drew. Again, you could toggle that on and off as well. So with that path drawn, I could actually come in here and I could do a couple different things. If I select the path tool again, and let's zoom in on this a little bit. Let's make sure we have our active path here selected. One thing we could do here is we could actually manipulate these, this path because all the nodes are kind of drawn on here. So for instance, maybe I want this T to have a longer stem. I could come down here and I could manipulate that. Another thing I could do here is I can create a selection from this path. So if I click that option here, all you see that these dotted lines appear along the letters. So let's go back to our layers dialog on the right hand side here. And let's just make sure that we have a new layer here because we can't really paste color to this text object. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say new layer. I'm just going to call it layer. And then with my fill tool, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to fill this selected area on this new layer. So I can click control A to stop the selection around these letters. And I can also go back to my paths and turn that path off so I can see what these letters look like. So if I zoom out, you can see that these letters are bent. Let's, let's remove our initial layer here. Let's just so we can see this layer better. Okay. So this is the bent text along the path. That's pretty nice. So you might want to do some different representations with this uh, kind of bending the text along different paths. So let me show maybe a common one that people often use. I'm going to get rid of this layer real quick and I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to grab the circular select tool here and I'm going to start drawing a circle here. And if I hold down shift as I'm doing this, it will draw a perfect circle. So I could draw something like that. And then, you know, maybe I want this to be resized a little bit so I can grab it and I can reshape it again. If I want it to be a perfect circle, I just hold down shift to make it like that. And okay, now I have a selected area of a circle here. One thing I can do is I could actually change this into a path and do the similar text representation here. So I'm going to go up to my select dialog here and I'm going to open up the selection editor. What that's going to do is it's going to open this editor over in the right hand pane here. And it has some options down here at the bottom, one of which is to make the selection into a path. So selection to path. If I click that, we go to our paths dialog. You'll see that we now have this new path here. And let me just uh, do a control A to get rid of the selection so we can see this. We have a new path here that I can toggle on and off. So I'm going to leave that on for a second. And I'm just going to draw a couple new pieces of text. So I'm going to say uh, top text up here. And actually I'm going to say this is top text. And I'm going to say, this is bottom text. Okay. So maybe we want this text to bend around an image. Say we have an image in the middle and it kind of occupies this space where the circle is. We could bend text along the top and we could bend text along the bottom. And the way we would go about doing this is very similar. So the first thing that you want to make sure you're doing is you want to make sure that this path is selected because if we have a different path selected, 
uh, over here, then when you bend the text, it's gonna bend to that last path. So let's just quickly make sure we're doing that. Let's come over here, let's grab our path tool, let's click on that. Okay, we have that last path selected. And then let's go to our text tool again. Let's edit this bottom text here, and we'll do the right click, and we'll say text along path. And you can see that this new path kind of jumps up here on the side. So again, if we want to zoom in here a little bit, let's just look at this. We can come to this text. We can get rid of this circle for a second if we want. And again, with our path tool, we can come in here. Let's make sure our path is selected. And we can do a selection from path. And let's just go to our fill tool and let's make sure we're on an okay layer. So this won't work. So if we try to fill right now, it's not gonna do anything. So you see the little, uh, it's like the little cross uh, over the, the icon there. It's not gonna let us fill into a text object. So again, let's just create a layer here to fill to. Now it's showing that it's valid. So if we come in here, it gives us a little option to fill this in. And we can, again, we can get rid of our path and we can move this section where we want to move it by making sure the layer that we pasted to is selected and then using the rotate tool and if we click that you can kind of bring this along the bottom just like this and you can move it and say you know it's not tracking perfectly with the circle if you didn't align the circle with the canvas it might not you can just grab this middle thing and you can kind of play with the alignment so we'll just move it there and rotate and call that a day so the text is now at the bottom you can see that it's going to a new floating selection. I'm going to right click and just say to add to a new layer. And then I'm going to look at some of these old layers. I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna get rid of the bottom text so we can see what's going on there. Okay, great. So we have that kind of floating along the bottom. Now the tricky part comes in with a top text and let me just kind of demonstrate what's going on there. So again, I'm gonna to go to my path. I'm gonna show my circle again. Uh, I'm going to make sure that this circle has been selected last. Go to my text tool and I'm going to select the text by clicking into it and then I'm gonna right click and say text along path. So you'll notice here that this text is upside down. So if we were going to position this at the top, it's not going to work very well. So let me just control Z on that and let me show you how to kind of flip this real quick. So this path has a direction. So if we go to our path tool again, we click on it, make sure that was the last path that we have highlighted here. And then we select this flip tool here. So it looks like this, I click that. I make sure that the path is selected out of here. There's a couple different things. You can do a layer or you can do a selection. I'm going to make sure my path is selected. And then I'm just going to click this and it's going to reverse the direction of that path. So now when I do a text transform, it's actually gonna transform the opposite way. Let's show what that looks like. Again, I'm going to my text selection tool. I'm clicking on my text. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do text along path. You can now see that this is the top text and it's going along the top there. So let's do the same thing that we've done in the past here. Let's do our path tool and let's select that text and let's just do a selection from that path and then let's fill it in. Well, let's make sure we're on a layer first. So uh, let's add a new layer and let's fill this in. Okay, that's filled in. Let's get rid of the selection Let's get rid of this path around it. Let's hide the initial text there so it's out of our way. And then let's, again, come up here, make sure we're on the layer for our, uh, our text. And then let's go to our rotate tool, grab that, and let's grab this. And then we can kind of manually rotate this along the top there. So once that's in a position that we want, click rotate, say that's okay. Let's make this transition. Let's make this floating selection go to a new layer, and then we're looking pretty good. We have the top and the bottom text there, and our path. We can unselect because we don't need that anymore, and we basically have something that could wrap around an image in the middle. Well, I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for some more GIMP tutorials, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks. Bye.